11 to 12,000 RPM, and, and you said 70, 75 pounds of boost? 70, yes. 75 pounds plus a healthy shot of nitrous. I run 200 shot. A yeah. 200 shot? I run 200, a little bit more. In this little thing? ¿Qué pasó? Siete minutos. La batería que lo va a relajar. ¡Ay, sigo! Estamos cerca. Pisen adelante, pisen adelante. Dale. Un segundo más pisado que hacía falta. ¡Yo va a ser! Dale, siete minutos. Vamos arriba, tenemos tiempo. Vamos arriba. 145. Seven minutes. Chilling. Carlito, what's up, bro? What's up, man? Carell, good to see yeah. you, man. Yeah, it's it's good man. to see you out here playing around with the jet skis, man. We see you yeah. normally with GTRs and the Hondas. Oh, with uh, my brother here. Uh, we take care of him. Yeah, and, bro. Um, We're out here at Hydro Drags 2024. We gotta make it. Beautiful day on the lake. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So you guys are competing in Speed Alley, which is like top speed uh, racing, and you got these absolutely insane skis, which we'll get into. And then you're also drag racing. You brought an army of skis. What you see here is the result of these guys actually going every day out to the water and just beating the hell out of these things. I mean, um, these things see boost that on a regular car on the track will give somebody the creeps. I mean, yeah, I mean, they see some serious RPM, some serious boost. Talking about 70, 75 pounds of boost. Wow. A lot of nitrous and a lot of turbo. That's and there's more motors, and they see a shit load of RPM. Talking 1100, 1200, 12,000. So 11 to 12,000 yeah. RPM. Oh, Jesus. They're up there. That's wild. Yeah. So that that's a so that's a 1.8 liter Yamaha. Yeah. And F factory, and factory lift. Wow. Yeah. And 11. Factory lift. Talk about some engineering, Jesus. So. 11 to 12,000 RPM, and, and you said 70, 75 pounds of boost? 70, yes. 75 pounds plus a healthy shot of nitrous. Um, yeah, we can't really say how much we spray on, but uh, it's up to them. Uh, we just make sure that it lifts through the turning session. Around 200 shot. Uh, yeah. 200 shot? <laughs> Around 200, a little bit more. In this little thing? <laughs> yeah, so it's a direct pour. You guys are, uh, you it's, guys a, are, it's a direct pour, yeah. You guys are punishing that little 1.8 liter. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of uh, proprietary stuff that they have done to develop this engine to actually lift through it. CRT concentrates a lot on acceleration. 
mean, yeah. the, the numbers that we got on, on, on acceleration is what we actually focus on. A lot of the tuning and a lot of the testing is going from uh, probably from uh, 40 miles an hour to 100 as quick as possible. Yep. They might not have the point A to speed. point A to point B yes. to win a race because that's what wins a race. Yeah. A lot of engineering and R and D that you guys put into these things, man. I, yeah. I commend you guys, especially on such a unique platform. Obviously, right? Like these are the fastest jet skis in the world. I mean, that's that's a, a huge accomplishment, you know. So it's it's pretty freaking cool. So so give us a, a breakdown here of like so what size turbo, engine management, what's done to the engines, all that stuff. This is a 7685 for season. Uh, Garo header, Garo interbillet manifold. All the turbo kits are made in house. All the customizers is made in house. Uh, stock sleeves, stock head, just with, with you know with good parts inside from SuperTech. Um, Waterman mechanical fuel pump, deca injectors, Gato inter, uh, intercooler too. We we'll run on M5. Okay. M5. So methanol. methanol yeah, methanol. Yeah. M5. Real deal, big boy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. um, well, I, th I think you guys need that when you're when you're pus punishing this little 1.8 liter with yeah, so, so. 200 shot of nitrous, 75 pounds of boost. I mean, like most car guys, like looking at something like this, talking about running so much nitrous on top of so much boost. I mean, that cylinder yeah, pressure has yeah. got to be just um, absolutely insane. We can only know how much power they make by the fuel consumption that we see on the data log and comparing to a car that we put on the dyno. Yeah, but it's up there. It's way up there. I mean, they're maxing out this. This, uh, this turbos. I mean, we started in 2011 with a uh, 62 millimeter. Yeah, wow. 62. And uh, no, six, 60, yeah, 60, 62, 60, 60, 62. 60, 62. Yeah, that's 60 millimeter. Wild. We're up to 76 and max. In I mean, that's a massive yeah. turbo. I mean, you, I mean, if you look at that in like like the Honda world, right? And you had a 7685 running 70 plus pounds of boost, and then a 200 shot on top of that. I mean, you're talking those cars are 1400 plus horsepower. You yeah, know, around so, there. So that's pretty nutty, man. Around there. And, <laughs> and the problem is we got to hit it with so much nitrous. Because um, you're going to see the difference between a car and a jet ski is when you're on the line on a car, you can load it up and boost it. Here, you basically have to take off from nothing, from yeah. idle. So you, these are running really, really big props. They load up pretty good. And if you don't have the power, they're, they're just not going to be able to spin it. Yeah. So for you to take off that ramp, these guys have to do so much work back there to make sure that the prop moves huge amount of water, but then we have to go in and say, okay, we need this amount of power to take off the ramp so that another ski with a supercharger that has the power instantly doesn't take off on you. So you're gonna see that the turbo ski is actually taking off right next to the superchargers. That's why. And, and that's a lot of power that we're giving it right on the go. And uh, we're running the, the Haltec, um the Nexus, uh, which okay. is swapped over to the Nexus uh, system. Okay. And we're running a lot of uh, torque management too, off the line, so we can control a certain RPM where it likes it, and then look at the G meters, uh, how much G is, is it pulling uh, from uh, 30 to 60, 30 to 100. Oh yeah. And it is, it's a lot of engineers. 60, a lot of 60 to 130. Yeah. <laughs> Passes it from any car. Yeah. Streets. That's yeah. wild. Have you guys tested I'm, those? Tested yeah, yeah. Stuff? I'm not gonna. You, guys, you guys can't say. You guys can't say this. Yeah, well, this is for race for money. So yeah, the number. Yeah. I don't think I never gonna. You know. But it's fast. But it's it, fast. It's fast. faster than a car. It's faster. It's faster than all his GTRs on the streets. Yeah. <laughs> I can that's, that. that's a that's a big it's deal. It's faster than those first, are, It's fast. faster than fruit of the car. It's faster than. Pipa's car, 60 to 130. That's yeah, I can tell you that. Yeah, because this wow. thing is like a bike that doesn't spin. Yeah. Basically, when we load it up after 30 miles an hour, it's already loaded up on the pump. So we hit it with everything you got. And they have to do all the engineering back there to make sure that the rider is safe. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's why you see a lot of uh, the skis, they change to the EP platform. So the it's easier on the, uh, to get them out an hour, but they still have to do a lot of engineering to get there. It's, 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 it's a process. So we, oh, yeah. we have to work together. Yeah, well, they, they, we love this guy. <laughs> uh, we, we, this is one of our absolute favorite events to come to because yeah. this is the only place in the world you can come and see this absolutely insane stuff here, man.
dude. I want to see this one. I want to see this one. Hell yeah. They just win 141, no nitrous. That's all boost. So the current record holder, the Ho Jose Luis's ski, BK built, uh, built by Brian. They weren't going to bring it out today unless the other guys, anybody else, any other competitors took the record. And the fastest anybody else ran was 135, but they said, you know what? We're going to take it out, boost only, and we're going to see if we can win the event. Not worried about the world record stuff. And they, they, they came damn near close to the world record without nitrous. Last time they went just one mile an hour faster. So this thing is much more spicy than last time on boost only. So you know, if they, if they turn that nitrous on, that thing is flying. Little, little birdie told me that uh, with nitrous, they might see, and, and, and conditions like this, they could probably see 145, 150, which is absolutely insane. <laughs> I can't believe it. That shit is fucking funny as hell, yo. Let me take the picture so that nobody can see. I gave him the unofficial. 121 with no knots. That shit is crazy. Good shit, man. Get out of the back 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 of the Bro, we got some excitement. Crazy fast. Turbo only. No nitrous. No bottle. That's nuts. And this kid still could make another pass. We got our boy MVP right here in the house representing. Oh, we got TRC here. They come out. Every time they come out, they bring us luck. So make sure to hit them up yep. and get them to your events, guys. Exactly. Because, Breaking all the records. You know, they're br they bring the speed to you guys. <laughs> so the last time, this thing did, what, 140? 142 with nitrous. With nitrous. With nitrous. 141 without turn, nitrous. Turn, turn. turn around. That's official GPS, everybody. That's an official GPS. Hola, aquí. Aquí. Hola, aquí. That's Dominican. That's Dominican. Mira, mira, mira. Take a right there. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. 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 Ryan, what's up, my man? What's up? Good to see you, man. Good we got the you. we got the reigning champs out here. Hydro yep. Drags 2024. We're in West Palm Beach, Florida, out here on the lake, do, doing your thing, going fast, brother. That's it. Going fast once again. Yeah. I mean, just give us a rundown. I mean, I think this is the third or maybe the fourth time we're filming you, and and once again, you guys absolutely killed it. You set, I believe, you set like an all boost record for one of these things on the water, uh, and you also took home Speed Alley and, and won the event, right? Yep. Yep. So I mean, just basically, give, us, give us a rundown uh, on the day. So the the owner Jose had a family emergency and couldn't make it. So we waited for the other teams to make their numbers and whatever, see what they ran. They ran a 135. So we decided to just send the ski out there with no nitrous. You know, we we kind of really never figured out like what it ran off nitrous because who cares? So we just took a took a chance, sent it out there, and it went 141. <laughs> went one mile less than. What it would go. One mile per hour less than what it went last time. On nitrous. Same setup with nitrous on top of it. Yeah, but Dude, a longer pass. Wild. You know, you're, you're doing like a, a, all, a all boost pass. So yeah. now we 
ran it, you know, five, six seconds, where before with the nitrous, with the 142, it was more like a, you know, three and a half second pass. <laughs> so, That's wild. So conditions were a little better today. Yeah, there, you couldn't be more perfect, you know, as, as glass. Yeah. So you can, you could hold it until the motor blew up. So I know, yeah. I know last time out, there was a uh, like serious safety concerns with how windy it was and you know it was it was pretty wild yeah. out there but you guys were able to squeeze it off and and like you said three and a half seconds is all it takes to get to that 140 plus range yeah which is i mean pretty basically nutty. yeah when it, when you're running that kind of speed and you're on water it's it doesn't take much wind to hit you like on the cross to kind of move it around and these things they're barely in the water at that speed so they they move around real easy so that's what's well, wild man now Give us an idea. If you, if you had to guesstimate, if you were able to spray on that pass, how much would that add another, what, three, four, five mile an hour, something like that, or? I mean, the fastest we ever went before on, on motor, like just in a quick test was 132. We never pushed it on, on boost. All alone. boost, yeah. I don't know. I really don't know. I, I always thought the ski was kind of at its limit at, at 143, 142, 143. So now you know but it's got more. Who the hell knows? <laughs> you know what I mean? Give it, give it more booze, more nitrous, or whatever the hell. If the thing stays together and you can, and it can, and you can hold it, who the hell knows what it'll go? I mean, honestly, that's you know? that's what you guys have been doing, right? So for you've been doing this forever, and yeah. since we, I mean, it's been a couple of years since we've been following your guys' story, and every time it's more boost, more nitrous, more motor. You know, like you're just you're always innovating yeah. the, these platforms. Like like you got you're the guys, you know. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's trying to awesome. do stuff that nobody else really does. I mean, kind of like I, I feel like in a way we kind of set like the footprint, like. People didn't believe we, that the skis would go 135. We went 135 and then they kind of start doing their thing and try to catch up, you know? And then like today, you know, we went 135 in 2020 and today was the first day any competitors ever hit 135, you know? So they're, you know, in my eyes, they're four years behind us as far as that goes, so. And that's how racing goes, man. It's yeah. innovating, innovating, and everyone just kind of, you know, it, it keeps it exciting, you yeah. know? So. Kudos, kudos to you guys, you guys absolutely killed it. So for a lot of people have seen this the ski and everybody here is very familiar with these setups, but yeah. for those watching that, that, don't, that might not know, I mean, just give us a, a, a soup to nuts rundown, like engine, turbo, fueling, engine management, like all, all how, how the, all this does, how, how that works essentially. So we switched from Motec to fuel tech before we ran the 142 and that was a big help. Um, the engine wise, you know, I tinker around with maybe like different, different pistons and rods every once in a while, but it's pretty much just a 1.8 liter, 16 valve engine. It's got Pro V valves in it. Um, we run like a CNC ported heads and kind of just regular off the shelf parts as far as that goes. That's pretty wild. I mean, man. you got, you know, aftermarket head bolts, you got after part, aftermarket main studs stuff like that, but everybody kind of runs the same parts that we run. I don't, yeah. I don't know anything that's different, but I guess it would be like kind of what you do in a car. Yep. You know, you got aftermarket pistons, rods is to our specs, whatever we want. Gato makes the header. He makes an intake manifold, so we run that. G Gato is well known in the automotive community as yeah, well. You know, so. they, they did our, our, our Honda manifold for, yeah. for our all-wheel drive project, so the, those guys are really well known. They do awesome stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's amazing. So we just put all those parts on it and play around with it and set it up. I mean, obviously it's, you know, like in the car, you're setting up a transmission, us, we're playing with a prop. So that's basically what it comes down to. Nice, so I mean, so uh, what size turbo, what fueling? Give it, I give mean, it tur that. turbo, you run a 76, 85. Fueling, we've been on M1 for a couple of years now. You know, it's got a mechanical fuel pump. We run it on a cable, it still has a factory gas tank in it, stuff like that. It's not like anything crazy. We run a dual, dual injector. <laughs> factory hull like we, we never this hull's never been like split i mean literally you could probably take this setup out of it and just put it back to oem with a supercharger <laughs> and go ride it on the beach like that's wild. the hull's not anything crazy that's wild man yeah. and uh so so how much boost do you guys run in a pass like that or what, what do you guys I mean as much as, as much as we can 60 know? 70 pounds i mean what are you guys talking i mean yeah it's always in the, it's always in the 60s yeah it's a lot so, of boost on a yeah on a jet ski. <laughs> yeah, I mean, pretty much, I think everybody runs like in the 60s. Yeah. You know, I mean, we just I mean, I guess you got, you got as much to, as right? we can. RPM and, and, and boost, I mean, it's a 1.6 liter. I mean, it's pretty yeah. nutty to think about like horsepower per, you know, per liter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's, I mean, it's, it's pretty similar, I guess we, we run, you know, up around the high, the high tens, 11,000 RPM. Yeah. You know, it's where we try to keep it around. You need the RPM, you need the, bo you need yeah. the boost. I mean, yep. you don't go too crazy and stays together long enough. 
but it's, it, it's a little bit of maintenance too because I, <laughs> I don't know that we're doing anything with it that's like crazy maybe if maybe things have built were built stronger if we had a billet head or a billet block sure maybe things would couldn't be different but is that the failure point on these do you guys see like the the blocks crack or because i mean that's dude that's a lot of power you guys this is like a max effort i mean 1.6 liter essentially right so like oh, 1.8 i'm sorry 1.8 liter yeah. so you know that's that's what's like the failure point that you guys really... i think the biggest failure point is the crankshafts so the blocks are usually pretty good you know who who really knows what the real power level of it is maybe the thing's only making 900 horsepower sure you know who the hell knows um but the, i think the crankshaft is probably our biggest issues when and then, like what's like a what's like a cycle life for one of these like are you guys going out making 10 hits or sometimes one hit like what it the... depends on what i'm doing with it like yeah. so like today it actually it has a fresh engine in it so whenever we come out to an event i put a fresh engine in sure. it and then i take it out just ride it around a little bit maybe yep. just hit everything to make sure it's going to be fine yep and then I'll leave it alone. And then now it's probably just going to sit. So I'll just yeah. go home and just disassemble the engine and just leave it sure. apart. So these are just essentially like race motors, you know, like you're, yeah, you're, like you, you basically want to, when you come out and race, you, you want to make sure it's good. So you guys will freshen it up before the race and all that. I just don't want to do like the maintenance of the, the methanol maintenance. Sure. So if I just take it apart and just leave it apart, then I don't have to worry about it. Like yeah. the methanol going in the engine and you know, like some of the other guys, they get longer runs or whatever, but I don't do that. Sure. Sure. So. Awesome, man. Awesome. What's going on, brother? Hey, what's up, man? It's good to meet you, man. You're you're the fastest guy on the water today. 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 <laughs> fastest guy on the water today and second second fastest like period, I in guess, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's 141 mile an hour. Today, no nitrous, nice, yeah. That's I'm wild, ski. dude. That's yeah. wild. Real wild. I mean, g give us the, the story. So this, this isn't your ski. So you no. you came in and, and, and jumped yeah. in for one of your teammates. Yes. So this and, is Jose uh, Luis Ski. Yeah. He's the uh, owner and driver for this ski, right? Uh, but unfortunately today he couldn't be here. We brought the ski to either break the, you know, set a new record if possibly they, if they, if they broke the last record, right? Yes. So the whole idea today was basically to run more than 135, which is what the other team ran. And the idea was to run less than 142. Um, so that way Jose keeps his record and he can keep doing his thing because I know he wanted to be here today But unfortunately, sure. he, he didn't he, he couldn't he couldn't be here today, but hey man, you hit it right so, on the money right on the money <laughs> actually. 141 one mile an hour under bro. That, that's right, <laughs> man. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, so, dude. Congratulations. Um, how, how long have you uh, have you been riding? I mean, I know I, I know that's the fastest you've been on the water So that yeah. was probably quite an experience. Yeah, honestly. Yes, that's, that's the, the fastest I've been on the water actually That's my personal best so far um I started with like factory skis like four years ago. I haven't really been doing it that long. So yeah, so, but uh, then I, I got, I met Brian real quick into my, into my experience or whatever you want to call it. And basically that's how I got into fast skis right away. He started putting me on things, on fast stuff right away. And we started working together, uh, you know, like literally right away as well. Um, he, he had me freaking working out of his garage. You know what I mean? And he taught me <laughs> everything he knew, everything that he knows. And then ever since after that, we've been working together and it's been good. Hell yeah, man. Well, dude, congratulations. Yeah. That had to be a hell of an experience. Yeah, it was real good, real, real, real cool. We had a couple of onboard cameras there and yeah, it, it, you'll be able to see a little bit of the face expression because I don't have no goggles. So, <laughs> so you'll be able to see a little something. I don't know if I look, I don't know if I look scared or not. We'll see. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Well, thanks so much uh, for having us out here, man. And congratulations. Yeah, yeah thank you. Everybody, everybody, 41!